Hello, this is OPAT67. Let's play The Sims. Today we're going to play the 100 Baby Challenge. This is part one. Meet Alexandra Wilkes. She's the matriarch. She's family oriented, creative, and romantic. Follow her on her journey to 100 Babies. Enjoy. Hello. And we're starting. So this is Alexandra, and this is her house. Um, she's living in the green starter house that I've built, and she's already flirty. Perfect mood to be in. Um, so this is a starter house. The house originally is like 22000 so I did have to delete some of the decorations and... and um, downgrade some of the items in the house so that was under 20000 to fit her budget. Um, so we're going to start by... Um, she looks like she's hungry. So we're making her some food. And <clears throat> I think what we'll do first is we'll probably end up going to the park so we can see if we can find anybody for her to have, make a baby with. Right? We might as well get her pregnant right away. She is creative, so her, and she's the, um, the painter extraordinaire, so she is going to do painting for her source of income. So now we're, we travel to the park, let's see who's here. In terms of, uh, criteria of what I'm looking for, what Alexandra's looking for in the men she has babies with. For now, yeah. she's just looking for young men, men who aren't elders. <clears throat> I haven't added any young men to the game yet. So not fr not from the gallery yet. So I've been, these are all base game or whatever NPCs. Um, So, we found this guy. He's young. He's not the most attractive looking man, but I can at least strike up a conversation with him. But he looks to be tense, so I don't know how well this is going to go. And, oh, he just left. No goodbye, no nothing. Okay, then. He clearly wasn't interested in our conversation. Who's this guy? Maybe I'll, I'll talk to him. Oh, he is angry. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. <clears throat> He could end up trying to attack me or something. Oh, but this guy looks like he's flirty. That's perfect, which means I can start romancing him right away, and I won't be rejected. Or chances are I won't be rejected. That's one thing I like about The Sims 4, is that um, the romance bar... Um, right, there's a separate romance bar. I don't even remember what there was for The Sims 3 now. It hasn't even, it's not been that long since I played The Sims 3, but... Oh, now I remember. Right, you'd socialize with them until you got about halfway up, and then you'd start romancing them, and then it would the little icon would change to heart. So I like the romance bar now, because that means I don't have to be friends with someone first before I make my move. I can just... In some cases, start romancing right away. So, I think this is going over well, although this guy does not, is not very attractive either. But, he's young, so, and he's flirty. And time for first kiss. Apparently, it was a funny first kiss. I think we'll just romance him some more and maybe... Well, I invited him to hang out, but I don't... 
know if he's going to meet me back at my place or what's going on, but he just walked away too. I'll just go home and invite him over. That's the easiest. And we're back home. And let's see. Let's invite him over. Oh, but I have to actually be on the lot before I can invite him over to my current lot. That's kind of annoying. I do like how fast they appear, though. As soon as I go outside, boom, he's there. It's like I just called him. It does, in real life, it takes a lot longer than that. I will take it, though, because... That saves a lot of sim time. So we're just going to keep romancing him up a little bit, get that bar up before I approach the trying for a baby. I'll, I'll kiss him one more time. And then we'll try for a baby. I just don't want to get rejected. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> okay. Let's hope we make a baby. Well, now we'll find out if Alexandria is pregnant in the next episode. Thanks for watching.